There were two conditions that I made to do a Biennale. One of them uh, was that I could con disconnect uh, for one year from contemporary architecture. Uh, and the second one was uh, that I would have more time. I wanted to disconnect from contemporary architecture because I thought the architecture biennale was becoming very similar to the art biennale and that therefore there was a kind of blur and it seemed interesting to me to change that and put focus on architecture really as an agenda. But it's also important to know that this is a biennale not for three months but for six months and so I used this extra time in several ways. It enabled me to talk to the national pavilions and to uh, convince them, actually without any effort, it was more almost like relief, to look at the last hundred years, to pick out of the last hundred years either episodes or an overview or a unique moment where the process of modernization was at its most acute. I called it absorbing modernity, not as a kind of grateful acceptance of a different condition, but uh, in the same way a boxer absorbs a blow of an opponent, very much aware that it is kind of typically an enforced process. So uh, one thing that you are able to see is that the nations actually took it seriously and that there is a number of pavilions already which in my eyes are sensational. For instance, the Korean pavilion that they have collaborated, South and North Korea collaborated together, the Japanese pavilion is extremely intense in kind of focusing on the 70s, but anyway, that has worked that way.